What's going on guys? Logs here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about VPNs and do they work on the new Caldera map to get you easier lobbies or bot lobbies. And before we jump into that, what is a VPN? It's a virtual private network. It's basically used to help protect your identity online, whether you're gaming or just browsing online, it helps protect your identity, your IP address, your location, all that fun stuff. A lot of people think that if you download a VPN service like ExpressVPN, for example, and you just switch your region to another region like India, for example, you'll connect to India lobbies, you'll have bot lobbies, like all these big streamers and you'll go through, you'll tear through the lobby, but that's actually not the case. When you switch your region to another server, let's say across the country, you're going to be connected to that server. So your ping and your latency is going to go through the roof. You're not even going to be play because you'll be playing on 600, 200, 120 ping. And even though the skill based matchmaking in that region or that server might be lower than yours and so it might give you a bot lobby, you're not going to be able to play it because your ping is going to be so high. You can't even load in the game. So just downloading a VPN service and playing on it does not mean you're going to have easier lobbies. Skill based matchmaking will be a little bit lower depending on the region, but your ping or your latency is going to be so high you won't be able to play at all. So with that being said, we're specifically going to be talking about no lag VPN or open VPN in today's video. We're going to be testing that out and seeing if using it will give you lower skill based matchmaking lobbies. Now, no lag VPN or open VPN is different from all those other services because it doesn't actually put you way out in India. It doesn't actually put you in Iraq or wherever you connect to. It abuses skill based matchmaking to think that the game is putting you in those services, but you still keep a lower latency or lower ping like you would play normally. I don't actually know how they do it. They've never actually come out and said how they're able to do this, but you're not playing against people in India. You're actually playing against people around you, but just the skill based matchmaking is lowered. That's why you're not lagging. Hence, no lag. This has been very popular in Verdansk on the old map and everyone's been talking about it. Everyone used it. J God himself has tested it out and does actually work on the old map, but we're going to see if it works on the new map. We're going to test it out. Now I have used no lag before in the past on the old Verdansk map and it did work for a while but as it went on, a lot of people started using it. A lot of people found out about it and started playing and it just got a little bit sweatier over time to where you couldn't really tell a difference between queuing with it on and with it off. The KDs kind of stayed the same in all the lobbies. But we're gonna test it today on the new Caldera map. So let's just jump right into it. So what I did to test the VPN is to go into 10 games and I did five games without the VPN on. Then I restarted and I did five games with the VPN on. And I basically compare and contrast for the 10 games Games that I played. Here are my stats. I have a 2.44 KD in Caldera and of all time I have a 2.06. Um, but basically going through my 10 games, I will show you. Here are the first five games that I played with the VPN off. So I was not using the VPN for these first five games. As you can see, they never dipped below a 1KD average for the whole lobby. I did no fill for all these, so I didn't have teammates for any of them. And as you can see, the KD average for the whole lobby never dipped below a one. The highest KD game was actually the first one I played, which was a 1.11. And the lowest KD was just a one. This is Battle Royale quads. This is not the Vanguard quads. So this was uh, just Battle Royale. And then scrolling up for the VPN lobbies. So these are all with the VPN on. I actually got pretty high lobbies. I mean, compared to the other ones, it didn't really change too much. They just went below a one, but they stayed in the high nines except for this one game. For these first three games, I had no fill on as well. So all these games I had no fill and the first three games I had no fill, but for the last two, I actually put fill on. So, so for this game, the 0.8, which is the lowest with the VPN on, I actually had teammates, which I think may have contributed to why the skill base was a little bit lower for the lobby. So these are my teammates. We only got one kill for the whole team, but uh, yeah, you can just go through and look. The number one team had a 1.4 KD. Number two team was a 2.78. This is with the demon team right here. This was definitely the best team in the lobby. I think these guys just probably camped a little bit, came out with a few kills, but these guys, 15 kills, 14 kills, 10 kills. And then scrolling down, I mean, we had a 0.52 team. We had a lot of above a one, a 0.18. This is definitely the lowest team. I mean, these guys, I'm surprised they actually got three kills. But as you can see, a lot of teams were just low KD players. It's just low KD. And this is the team KD. So this is the average between all four players right here. So I don't know if having fill or no fill will make a difference. We're gonna to have to test that in a future video, but this game that I got a 0.8 was with a fill on, but then also this next game, I had a 0.95 
also fill on. So these are my teammates. The number one team that won was a .88. This guy just absolutely went off. He carried the team. Then everyone else was kind of low. We have a higher KD team here, above a one KD here, but then you got the .57. But to be honest, these are pretty high KDs for using a VPN service. Now, I played at 12 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. I don't know if that will make a huge difference. I know a lot of people are off on Sunday, so a lot more players are playing. Um, but usually in the mornings, from early morning till late afternoon are the best time of the day for lobbies. Whether or not you are using a VPN. I mean, early mornings, you are definitely going to have easier lobbies. So we look at the stats for these two games with the VPN on. Let's look at the stats in this 1.09 game without the VPN. So this is just me playing normal. Uh, we had a high KD, guys. Number one and two spot. 0.98, still pretty high. 0.74. Um, you're still going to have these bot teams. You're still going to have these lower KD lobbies, uh, lower KD teams with no fill on without using the VPN service. I mean, you're always going to have that, but the mass majority, except for this guy, oh my God, this team, 0.33. So these guys, this guy carried the team, but a 0.33 is pretty low KD. And that's just me searching regular with above a 2 KD as well. So this is a 0.3 that I'm joining. The fact that I have a 2 KD and I can join a lobby with a team that is a 0.5 or a 0.3 means the skill-based matchmaking doesn't always play in your favor if you're a bad player or even it does play in your favor if you're a good player. Keep in mind, this is without the VPN on. So I did not have a VPN on for this. Team 21, 2.53 KD. These guys were demons. They, I think they probably just got killed pretty pretty quick off the bat. 0.2 KD. So these guys, little Timmy is literally Timmy, uh, but they joined a game with a 2 KD guy like me. So it's weird to see how skill-based matchmaking works. It always doesn't always work. Here is me at 2.06. So clearly the VPN works, but it doesn't work to the point where you're going to get those constant bot lobbies you're going to be shredding every game that's not the case i mean i've been using the vpn before and i got super sweaty lobbies and i got super easy lobbies at times so it just kind of depends skill-based matchmaking really affects it um, it also depends on the time of the day you're playing morning lobbies with the vpn on you're going to get easy bot lobbies Later in the day, 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock at night, you're going to get pretty sweaty. No matter if you use the VPN or not, you're just going to get sweat on all night. I will say if we go over to the records, the world records, let's do uh, Battle Royale Caldera. Let's do Duo vs. Quad. So number one Duo vs. Quad right now, the two guys, they got 81 kills and their lobby was a 0.61. But look at what time they played. They played at 9.33 in the morning. So this is not 9.33 at night, this is 9.33 a.m. So bright and early in the morning, they got a 0.61 KD lobby, and they ended up dropping 41 and 40, which is absolutely insane. Looking at the players, I mean, they were not playing against good people at all. Does that mean they're using the VPN because they got this lobby and got this record? No, not necessarily. It just could be that they're playing really early in the morning and they got good lobbies. We'll just look at his stats right now since we're on the page. Uh, he's got a 3.65 KD, which is insane. He does have some higher KD lobbies, but then he's got a lot of lower, a 0 0.63 in trios. Uh, he's playing at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, 0.76. He's playing at 9 o'clock in the morning. Does this mean he's using a VPN because he gets these low lobbies? Not necessarily, but it is very possible if he does, or he could just be playing early in the morning. You really can't tell. It's hard to tell, especially with the fluctuating um, a 1.06, a 1.15, 1.3. It's hard to tell whether he's using a VPN or not. But you can see he's playing at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning, all the way till freaking noon. So this guy definitely knows when to get the good lobbies, definitely knows when to play the good lobbies. And it doesn't mean he's using a VPN, it could just be the time of day. But yeah, guys, just to show you that the VPN does work, it just lowers it a little bit. It doesn't give you that huge drop in KD lobby after lobby, and it also depends on the time of day that you're playing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope that it was informative to let you know that not everyone you're watching on YouTube is dropping those insane bot lobby gameplays every single game. You don't see the 10 games leading up to that one YouTube video. 
Yeah, the VPN does work, but it doesn't give you that huge advantage that everyone thinks it does. A lot of it plays into the time of day and a lot of it plays into just getting those lucky games, those lucky bot lobbies that we've all learned about. If you guys enjoyed and want to see more videos like this from me, then hit the subscribe button, like the video and comment down below. I might do another video in the future comparing it fill and no fill with the VPN on or maybe other type of videos in the future. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Oh. <laughs> the last one. Last one's coming. Yeah, I know. I'm coming, alright, I'm coming. Dude, you fucked me up so. Out this one. Almost close. Buy UAV, bro. Buy UAV, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, boy. I got you. There's, yeah, there's yeah, a yeah, team up there. Watch out, Aaron. Fuck. Yo, turn it up and lock it in. Let's go. Wow. He flashed me. Let him get the kills. He's right here, he's right here. They're I'll all in the gas. They're all in the gas, dude. Someone's got self. That is the way, bro. Oh, MP40 at that range is hard. Sneaky. Ooh. Let's go, baby!